Hello, this is Chobe, the Shiny Colors Discord. Welcome to another episode of The Shiny Review. Today, we've got two new cards to talk about. We have a new Produce SSR for Amana, as well as a Support SSR for Kaho. Now, keep in mind that both of these cards are limited. Once this banner is over, both of the cards are not going to be added to the SSR pool later, meaning that the only way you'll be able to get these cards is either through sporadic pickup banners that sometimes have limiteds, or tickets in the future when we get closer to anniversary, so on and so forth. So if you want these cards, now is realistically your only time to get them. So starting things off then, we have Amana, who is a pure visual unit. Amana's initial appeal is a visual 4.0 that raises your passive activation rate by 5% for 3 turns and grants you 1 mulligan. The plus appeal, which requires 10 or more healing activations within that Bess, as well as the full Alstromedia lineup, gives you a visual 100% buff for 3 turns, as well as flexible for 1 turn. Since it's been a second, flexible is a buff that makes it so that all plus appeals will be active the next turn, assuming that they were already in your hand, and regardless of whatever their conditions are. Her fully upgraded appeal at 4 stars is a visual 5.0 that grants you a 10% buff to your passive activation rate for 3 turns, gives you 1 mulligan, and the same plus appeal effect, a visual 100% buff for 3 turns and 1 flexible, as long as you are running the full Alstromedia lineup and have 10 or more heals within the run. For her passives, her 1 star passive is a visual 60% up if it's turned to or earlier and it has a 35% chance to activate once. Her 2 star passive is a visual 100% up that requires one or more passive activation rate buff. So, as long as you use either of her appeals, this passive will be live. It has a 25% chance to activate twice. Her 4 star passive is a visual 140% up and memory gauge 15% up and has the same conditions as her 2 star passive. You just need one or more passive activation rate buffs in order for this to trigger, and it has a 30% chance to activate twice. Her total stat uncap is plus 400. Her memory appeal, when maxed out, is a visual maximum 2.5 that scales based on how many heals you've had in the run, that links into a visual maximum 3.0 that scales based on how many times you've healed in the run. Amana is... odd. She's extremely built around raising passive activation rate and supplying mulligans, but the other half of her kit is built around healing, and she has no healing on her kit to speak of. Her damage output is pretty average at this point, and her plus appeal has essentially no reason to go off. You want to use the appeal early so you have access to the mulligan, but then that means you don't have access to the buff or the flexible effect. But you also wouldn't have enough heals to activate the plus early anyway. Plus, you would lock yourself out of all of her passives if you decide to not use her appeals at all. It's kind of a real conundrum, to be honest. She feels real inconsequential in Visual Alstromeria, but I have seen some people say that she has a home on other teams. I've heard that Visual Sheez has a couple low-odd passives that might appreciate the boost and maybe even the mulligan as well. I would say overall as a unit, Amana is probably a B. As a center, her memory peel is fine. The conditions are a little odd, but Alstromedia don't necessarily have troubles activating it. It's just relatively low power for what it is. I would give it anywhere from a C plus to a B minus. Next up, of course, is Kaho, who is a pure dance support. She has a couple masteries that are worth talking about, specifically Unit Mastery SP reaching plus 8 at level 75, otherwise plus 6 at level 65, plus 4 at level 50. She has Unit Mastery Dance Limit Up reaching plus 7 at level 80, plus 5 at level 70, or plus 3 at level 60. And lastly, Dance Mastery Stamina reaching plus 7 at level 80, plus 5 at level 70, plus 3 at level 65. I would say if you are looking for just a generic dance support, get her to 2 stars. If you are looking to be specifically a Hokura support, you're probably looking at 4 stars. That said though, her 2 star passive really feeds off of her 4 star appeal, and so that might be a bit of a problem unless you are specifically running Dance Hokura, in which case, if you're just trying to really be safe about it, you can just keep her at 1 star, or just skip out on the card entirely. Now, as for what Kaho does, her initial appeal is a Dance 3.0. Her upgraded appeal at 4 stars is a dance 3.5 that grants you one random buff of the following. A 0.1 increase of the appeal strength of a random Hokura member for 5 turns. So you can get Kaho, Choko, Rinze, Juri, or Natsuha. For her passives. Her 1 star passive is a dance 50% up that requires it to be turn 3 or earlier and it has a 20% chance to activate 3 times. Her 2 star passive is a dance 120% up if you have a Kaho appeal strength up buff, at least one of them. 
and it has a 20% chance to activate once. Her 4-star passive is a dance 100% up if you are in the leader position and has a 30% chance to activate twice. She also has total a dance uncap of plus 250. Kaho is okay, but a little underwhelming. She's meant to be the supplement to the new Hoker to play style, but misses a lot of the impactful effects that make cards like Gisi, Kaho, or TC Choco as strong as they are. If this card had any sort of attention down influence to her, she would probably be actually a lot better than she comes off as. It's probably worth considering the 4-star appeal for one of your unit members if you are specifically running that version of Dance Hokura, just to try to levy your options as to how your appeals kind of play out. But I wouldn't expect a huge power spike from this card specifically. Her passives are just fine, and technically you could just be out of her passive unless you plus appeal with Kaho. So there are some weird hang-ups with this card. I don't think it's going to be a super huge impact for Dance Hokura. They will probably run it just because it's Dance Hokura. But I wouldn't say that this is a super huge, like, must-have support. It's just kind of here if you want to try to supplement that new Hokura playstyle, or at least want to see how well it works within that team and make it more educated guess on how strong it actually is. Overall, I would say this card is about a B plus to maybe an A minus, but that feels a little generous. I think B plus is about where it needs to be. She's not a super crazy strong support, but she's also not terribly weak. She's just right there in that middle space, which is where I think a B plus feels pretty appropriate. So that will do it for the video today. Thank you so much as always for watching. Now, I realized that I did not specifically cover another card that is out right now, but I wanted to keep this one short and simple because of the time frame of it. And we also have a little extra time to talk about the last card, which is the new Kiriko support, who is down here. We will be covering her in the next video with whatever banner comes after the current. So let's look forward to that together. Till then, I've been Cho. Thank you as always for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.